So today's the day. I've got my bin liners. Today's the day I'm going to tackle something that's driven me mad for months. Today's the day I'm going to do it. It's snowing like crazy outside. I'm in lockdown. I can't go anywhere. And I've done my weekly shop. So I'm going to tackle this annoying thing down here called my sock drawer. Every year, every birthday, we get given socks and they just go into the sock drawer and there's never a matching pair. And now I'm gonna sort them out. I'm gonna be ruthless. I've got my bin bags. Watch me go for it. I can hardly open the drawer. There are so many socks in here. Oh, look at them all. Look at them all. There's years of socks here overflowing. And you know what? In the morning, I can never find a pair of socks. And you know what's really annoying? So I'm an interior designer, okay, and I do go around to people's houses, okay, and when I get to their house, I always take my shoes off, because, you know, it's polite to take your shoes off when you go to somebody's house, and I'm always worried I'm not going to have a pair of socks, it's going to be an odd pair, so that's something that kind of worries me, I lose sleep over the sock situation in my home, and the reason I worry about not having a matching pair of socks when I go into somebody's house is because what are they going to think about me? I'm, a, I'm an interior designer. I know when things go together and I'm sort of really cool at matching up stuff. I can't even match my own socks. What will they think? It's just crazy. Anyway, here I go. So I've got this sort of old Ikea chest of drawers. It's a bit battered. I've had it for years. But anyway, I'm going to take out this sock drawer. Okay, here we go. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to dump the whole lot on my bed. Oh, crikey. That is insane. Right. Here's the plan. I'm going to pair them all up and things that are in pairs, I'm going to be totally ruthless and they're going in the dustbin today. Okay, let's make a start. We've got a pair there. Great. Pair. Great. Pair. Great. Three pairs so far. Four pairs. I mean, we're doing well, aren't we? Hey, we are doing well. Five pairs. We've got a pair. Then we start getting odd ones. Okay, odd. Okay, all odd. Put the odds to one side. Pair. Pair. This is what I like to pair them all up. And you're thinking, oh, she's doing well. She's getting them all paired up. But I've barely started. We've got lots of stripes that just... And then there's an odd, an odd white one. Do you know what? My mornings are going to be so pleasant when I open my sock drawer. But I mean, how many pairs of socks does a human, one human being really need? Let's put the odd ones here. This is mad. We've barely started. Oh, oh, there's a pair of thick leggings there. Hmm. Oh, I can't do this anymore. It's just so boring. Oh, what's my life become? I don't even know what to start. Let's shift them over. Go through them one by one. Oh, you know what? Think twice before you buy striped socks. Because in, my, in this drawer, look, we've got some lovely striped socks, but they're all odd. Now imagine I turned up to a customer's house with a red one on and a green one on. I'd look all right. Idiot, wouldn't I? Oh, these are my good walking socks. But you know what? I'm really, really sad about this because they've got a hole in them somewhere. Notice the cold weather coming through my toes. Oh there, look. Do people still darn socks or should I just chuck them and go and buy a new pair? I don't want to chuck them out because I really, really like them and I don't want to waste them. They're really good socks, really comfy. I tell you what, I ball them up. I haven't even got a nana here who could darn them. Anybody still do darn socks? More socks that don't match. Same, same brand, but don't match. This is a labour of love, this is. Oh my god, they're all odd. Can you believe it? That's another good walking sock. There are a lot of websites about you know, decluttering and, and, and how you know our houses are so stuffed with things that we've bought you know, over the years and what do we do with all those things? You know, decluttering you know, is good for your mental health, I think. I mean, I'm not a mental health expert, but you know, having a lovely clear drawer of socks every morning, I'm going to feel better about my life and myself, aren't I? At the moment, I'm actually feeling quite overwhelmed by this pile of socks. And my, my, my temptation is to just to bundle the whole lot up into the bin bag and throw them all away. But I don't want to do that because there might be some good socks in there. Like this, this is a good pair. Look, they match. Oh, crikey. Then there's really old socks that are sort of really manky and horrible. I mean, do I put those as a pair? Although they're not a pair. There's another one. There's a purple version there. 
And then there's a yellow version of the same sock. And there's a, a blue version. So do those blue ones match? No! No, they don't. Oh, there's some gloves. Some brown ones. And there's some knickers. Do you know what? I'm kind of regretting this. I mean, why don't I just nip to Sainsbury's or Asda and buy, you know, they're five quid for a pack of five, aren't they, normally? They're literally a pound a pair. I mean, I'm not, I haven't got much money at the moment because of lockdown, but why don't I just sort of ditch all these and just go to Sainsbury's and buy some new pairs? You can't beat the feeling of a new pair of socks. It's like fresh sheets on the bed, isn't it? It's up there with the best thing. I mean, you know, I'm not going to have a good day putting these manky old things on, am I? Look, all these stripes. Oh, I've got a pair, I've got a pair, I've got a pair. <laughs> oh, God. Who has feet that big? I mean, I'm like seven or eight. I mean, oh. Do you know what's the worst thing about socks is when you get a pair of socks on and you've got a slippy sock. That's the worst thing. A slippy sock that slips down your heel and you have to keep stopping and pulling it up. That's the worst thing. And then you try to sort of hook it into your leggings or whatever. And it's just the so, it's just the most annoying thing. The slippy sock syndrome. SSS, slippy socks, slippy sock, slippy sock syndrome. Most annoying. But then that's, that's a fairly new sock, I can tell. Oh, and that looks, oh, I thought I was gonna have a pair there, but no, no, no. I'm just hunting for pairs. Oh, and then there's the random red sock that always crops up. Now this would be a great sock for hiking because it's really thick and it's great, but there's only one of it. So do I make it into a puppet to amuse my niece? You know, what do I do with it? Or do I just chuck it? You can guarantee the moment I chuck that away, I'll find the other one. It's not here, Lucy, I can tell you, I've looked. I have actually searched for the other red sock because I wanted to wear it because my good, my good blue hiking socks have got a hole in them. And then, and that's a good red sock. We live in hope. Oh, 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 found a pair. Oh, crikey. All you can do is this look. And then there's the sort of slouching in front of the telly sock, isn't there? But there's only one of it. That's a good cosy sock, you know, Huga, that sort of, that Danish thing of being cuddling up, you know, in front of the television with the fire going cosy and warm. But there's only one of it. But I'm loath to throw away such a good little sock. But there's only one. I'll put it there. Oh no, I know that this is a really, really horrid old sock. Look at it, it's horrid. You know what? That is going in the bin bag. Because that's, even if I find the other one, that's a horrid sock. And I would never, ever, ever put that one on. I hate people that lick their fingers to open things. It's so unhygienic and I've just done it. Anybody else have this problem with bin bags? Ah! Right, first one in. Dun, dun, dun! Right, here we go. We're making moves. Right, let's pair, pair up those. And then there's the random Kipston holster sock. <laughs> that's a sort of going to the gyms. No, that's a football sock, isn't it? For my, that's, that's my daughter Lucy's football sock. She's given up football because she's got a dodgy knee. So do I keep the sock? I don't think the charity shops would welcome socks. I mean, it's not, it's not like a thing, is it? Is that, now that is so nearly a pair. Oh, it is a pair. Oh, I'm getting excited about this. How pathetic am I? Look, it's a pair. More knickers. What are they doing in the sock drawer? Oh, that's a good walking sock. But where's the other one? They're snuggled by the fire, cosy socks. They're good walking socks. They're quite thick. Okay. Oh, that, 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 now that, I hate that sock. That is, that is your classic slippy sock. <laughs> Classic, I can tell, I can tell. And you know what kind of sock that is as well? That's kind of rough. And I've worn that sock in the past and I've suddenly started getting a really kind of painful ball of my foot because it's kind of rubbing. Bye bye. They're slippy socks, I know they're slippy socks. They're not bad. I'm, I'm, no, I'm not gonna throw them away because they're not bad. They're not bad. Oh, that, that's a horrid little sock. <laughs> I think that's from when my, um, that's not, not only is that a horrid sock, that's got a little hole in it. And that's probably from when my daughter was about nine. Why have I still got them? All those silly socks that people have that you wear with trainers. Do you know the ones I mean? Those sort of trainer socks. I, I, I don't actually wear those, but I think my daughter wears them. Oh, another good walking sock. Oh, there's a good purple sock here. Do you have that? Do you kind of call it the good purple sock? And it gets to a stage when you get so frustrated with it, you just sort of think, oh, I'll just bundle the whole lot back in. But I'm not going to do that today. I'm going to be a really, really good citizen. I think I might give myself a time limit. So if I haven't done this in sort of like 10, 15 minutes, because my back started to hurt leaning over the bed doing this. If I haven't done this in like 15 minutes, I'm very, very tempted just to bundle up all these sort of nondescript black socks into the dustbin. That's a horrid sock. That's really thin and... 
Oh, and it's got the sort of ribbing in it, that, that ribbing in it that I hate. Yeah, not thrown many away so far. It's another horrid little sock. I don't know what to do. I just don't know. I don't like that sock. They're the sport socks. I don't like that. Oh, there's another one with a W or Wilson. Oh, actually, that's a pair, Wilson. Black tennis socks. Now, no one wears tennis socks that are black. And actually, we don't even play tennis. <laughs> there must have been a Christmas present a few years ago from someone. <laughs> Look, we'll keep hold of them. Just in case next summer, when lockdown's lifted, we decide to go and play tennis. Highly unlikely, but there you go. You see, they don't match. Look, the sole of that is a yellow stripe. And the sole of... That's a horror. Oh, that's a horrid. That would have been a sock borrowed from Grandpa. Probably 10 years ago. Oh, Grandpa, can I borrow a pair of socks, please? Yes, of course you can. Help yourself. That's a Grandpa sock. Sorry, Grandpa. Knickers. You see, oh, that's, that's nasty. That's nasty. That's a slippy sock. I can tell. Oh, what do I do, Lucy? What, I mean, what do I do? No, they're not. That's one of those horrible ones that have got that sort of ribbit. I hate those. I hate those. I hate those. That's a horrid sock. That's a slippy sock. It feels horrid. Oh. Toweling. I could start putting the ones that are in pairs back into the drawer, couldn't I? Oh, hang on. Oh. Oh, was that one I hated? Well, have, I, have I already... <laughs> have I thrown the other one of that one away? Oh, no, it's another of those. I've got a spare one of those. Okay, got a spare, spares. I don't know what to do now. I'm gonna put the good ones back in. And the next question is how to get the drawer back in. Okay, a drawer, they're all knackered. And then the drawer never goes back in right. Oh, it do see, it doesn't go back in right. Okay, a furniture for you, it's rubbish. Ah, yes, we did it. Right then, let's put some socks in. So do I arrange them nicely or do I just go like that? Because I'm getting fed up now. I put the cute socks on one side. Here we go, cute socks. It's hiking there, so I could do some thickness. Oh, I can't get to a stage, you can't be bothered. I'm not putting any socks back in there that aren't bald. Bald spelt B-A-L-L-E-D, not B-A-L-D, bald. <laughs> What I'll do is the socks that aren't a pair, I'll leave them out and then as I do the washing, I'll pair them up. So these socks here, the, the good, good stripy ones, okay, good, good stripy ones or fairly new ones from Christmas. What I'm going to do is I'm going to line them up, okay, and then as I do the laundry, because there might be some in the laundry basket, you know, you don't know, do you? I'll line them up like that on top of my countertop, okay, and then as I do my laundry, I can match them up nicely. But what to do with all these? Oh, hang on, there's a pair. So all the same black ones I'll ball up. They're good ones, all the good, all the good socks, all the nice socks that are kind of like, that have potential. Can go on here. These are called my potential socks. My potential pairs. There we are, potential pairs. They're horrible, aren't they? Chuck them, chuck them, chuck them, chuck them. There's another football sock there. Do you want that football sock? I'll keep that one. One football sock kept. That's a good one. That's that's um that's fairly new. That one. I'm, I'm I'm sort of sorting out the ones that were sort of you know from the last Christmas or or the Christmas before kind of thing. Have we already seen that one? That's a potential, isn't it? Just to let everybody know that I'm on Skillshare now because I've got kind of I've been doing interior design for oh many many years and I feel I've got. Sort of stuff that I'd like to share with the next sort of generation of, of interior designers. You know, and, and I also do a bit of teaching at my local uni, so, you know, I feel like I'm in perhaps a good place to start doing that. So, yeah, so I'm going to be sort of teaching people from scratch how to become interior designers, you know, what to do, what to say to clients and how to put together a quote, how to get to put together ideas, all that sort of thing. I'm going to be doing that over the next few months. Because, I, yeah, because I have been doing, you know, interior design for many many years and I, I want to sort of, you know share share my knowledge you know it's important isn't it the next generation so if you'd like to follow the link in the description box that'd be great um there's an old random white tennis sock gone oh i hate those Is it, that's the other ugh. ruthless now past caring
you know what, I've had enough of you. I hate you all. Go, go, go. Go out of my life now. Go, gone. Gone, gone. I'm feeling a lot better. I'm feeling a lot better. And I'm gonna, when I do the washing, I'm gonna sort of check out these socks. And, and oh, that's the one can go in. We'll wait for those, we'll wait, wait patiently. Okay, well, okay, you socks, you've got a week. And if you're not paired up in a week, you're out. <laughs> it's like Love Island with socks. <laughs> oh, these are all manky and horrible. <sighs> do you know what? I feel a bit better now. I do, I feel better. I'm going to shut this drawer. I'm going to get my laundry done. Take this bag out. No looking back. No looking back. I'll see you guys later. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye.